Hi, it's Kelly here. And you know how everybody's having a hard time with finances these days? Well, I, I got some free information for you that, uh, has, been, that has worked for me and is just and worked for the lady I was talking to all in 48 hours. So uh, I want you to uh, get on board with me because we're going to take care of all of those problems. Oh, by the way, if you're curious about why I'm wearing pearls, it's in the last video I made just a couple days ago, two, three days ago. So it's for health purposes. And we'll leave it at that. Anyway, a couple things have happened in the last uh, couple days. Uh, somebody and I sent me a video and I, or, uh, about a, a man named Murray is his last name. Uh, he lived in the last century and, and I think he lived till he was 92 when he died. Might have lived to the 60s of this year. Uh, I mean, 1800s to the 1900s, 1963, I think is when he passed away. And he, he became a successful painter, you know, artist and sculptor uh, when he was in his, became a sculptor in his late fifth, early, mid fifties, late fifties. Um, that about covers it, doesn't it? <laughs> so I want to tell you about how he became so successful and, and uh, what's been happening here on this end. Um, as a young man, he was a great believer in God and really wanted to live by God's precepts. And one of those things was to was to uh, bless and, and give praise to God in everything that he did. He said a, a, an important aspect of what he did was to do the things that he found difficult, challenging, or whatever he didn't want to do, to do them with joy and praise. And so let me tell you a story of what happened. He was working at, in a resort where a lot of wealthy uh, people would go for the summer. and he was working like as a bellhop or whatever they call him and uh, they would make about a hundred bucks during the season and tip they get a small salary plus about a hundred bucks this was like I say in the 1800s and that was considered decent you know good money and so the first person he helped the guy went to give him a tip and, and something inside of him said don't take the tip and, he, and he, it was like a message from God he, he didn't understand it, but he, he, he turned down the tip. And then he, he went back down, I guess, into the basement of the building he was in. That's where he was, I don't know where, where he was, but he was, he was asking God, what, what, why, what? And, and the, the message came back, don't take any tips. And do it with joy and do it with gratitude, do it with praise for God. So the key was not so much that he didn't take tips, because he did get paid for things you know, throughout his life. He became a millionaire. But in this case, he was doing things with joy and gratitude and praise. And he became the most enthusiastic bellhop in the place. And as a result, the, the, uh, the, the wealthy guests who were influential, of course, they really liked him because of his attitude. And they started inviting him to events uh, I guess they're on the property, maybe, or to other places. That supposedly that was against the rules, but the, the, the guest said, if you don't let, let him join us, we will not come back here anymore. <laughs> right? So, so he spent all this time with them. They got to find out that he was, he, you know, it was a hobby or something. He liked to, to draw and paint. And he ended up, they bought $800 worth of paintings or, or drawings from him rather than the hundred dollars in tips plus he got connected with all of these influential people and you know in the art world that's very important because you got to have people have money in order to, to support you in, in what you're doing so it turned out fantastic to do that so i today i'm washing the dishes right and i'm not only washing the dishes but i'm cleaning the uh the little plug thing you know making sure that that's clean and and i've got the the uh, what do you call it the thing that it catches like a, a sieve kind of thing you know to catch you know the stuff you don't want to go down in, in the sink and uh, so I'm cleaning that out and everything and I'm doing it with joy and, and, and what have you um, and I started doing this like two three days ago right and as and then someone sent me a video called uh, Metatron 
and that's like the Metatron is a, is the six pointed, three dimensional star of of uh, of Judaism, you know. And and uh, so I'm watching this video, and it's got the thing turning and moving, and that's what I'm all about: spinning and and, and frequencies. So I'm watching this video about abundance, and it's and it's you know. And and so here's what happens. A lady who I don't didn't even know who she was sent me twenty five dollars, and then she said, "Hey, I'm gonna, I, I'm also gonna get you a uh, a near infrared bulb that you can use to uh, help you heal." And I looked it up. Turns out that it's really good for the veins and the arteries. Which is what I need. I need I need my veins to get better, so that I don't have the leakage of the iron coming out. So I'm very excited about that. She's going to send that to me, um, and so I'm like, wow. So God is taking care of me, just exactly what I need. You know, that's true wealth. And so, so what I su would suggest to you is to do that. And let me, oh, one last thing, and it's connected to my book. Um, you know, I was watching the video from Murray, his last name. He was wanting to gather together different, you know, geniuses. Like, he, he hung out with uh, Mark Twain. I think, he, I think he met, maybe hung out with Tesla, um, Teddy Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt. In fact, he went to the White House twice. Uh, he he did a sculpture, one of the four C, four freedom sculptures. Uh, there, there's apparently numerous ones of those, but he did that as part of that. And um, so anyway, they're do, you know he's want, he's trying to think well how can we how can we teach this? And he says it's really easy to be brilliant, and it's so true. It is it's the easiest thing in the world to be brilliant. But how? That's the thing that you know. It's like, what is the, what is the secret sauce that gets you there? And I got to tell you that this book, is there a question that heals instantly? And by the way, I get, I get about two dollars if, if you order it. So uh, you know, I just want you, you know, full disclosure there. Um, anyway, um, I get all excited about the two dollars. <laughs> so, so. Uh, the question, I can tell you this because I be, that's how I became so inventive, it automatically gets your brain working to make connections, to connect dots. And, and when they happen, these inventions, they come in, in a fraction of a second. They really do. And so, you, by getting the book, you will be getting your brain working uh, for inventions, being inventive, and also just insights into what makes your life work so well. You know, uh, compared to what it, it was the moment before, the, it works hardwired, and you'll and you'll start healing instantly. And that takes a load off your your mind, takes the load off your shoulders, and so when you feel lighter, you know, with the light. <laughs> physically feel lighter you have more energy right because you're not carrying around those heavy heavy thoughts right we use the terminology to explain what it is is like weighing us down so you get free you start to get free instantly so that even if the answer doesn't come to you right away you're already in the process of, of being energized and healing and making your organs happy as well which is in the book I'll explain that in the book um, but this makes you inventive. It really does. That's how I came up with the heartfelt energizer, and uh, you know, and, and and you know, that's and different things. So, get yourself this book. It's exclusively available on Amazon. That's the easiest way for me to do this. I do not do it on PDF because I do not want anybody changing anything that's in the book. Um, they might make it better, and then I'd be, I'd be very envious. <laughs> oh, here's the thing. 
when you get the book, you will very likely be able to write a book 10 times better than this one. And this one is fantastic. All right? Um, so you, you'll, you will. And that's the, that's the thing. I don't want it to be just my book that the answer to the world's problems are in my book. I want everybody to be coming up with these things and doing it because like if you, you know, if you've got, uh, you've worked hard in your life and you've had a lot of experiences, that's where the inventions come from. So the harder your life has been, the, the, the harder those things have been buried in your brain, you know, and in your heart, that you remember, those become the connection of the, those dots that make you successful. So no matter how hard your life has been, you're going to get out of it and, and better because you'll, you'll, have a leap, you'll have a leap forward, a leap ahead of everybody else uh, as a result. So get this book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? My last name is spelled E-I-D-E-M, E-I-D-E-M. That's on here somewhere, there it is. E-I-D-E-M, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? And get yourself that book. You'll, you'll be so happy. And and after you order the book, go wash your dishes and be happy about it, or whatever whatever it is that you don't want to do. Um, you know, just take that new attitude to it, praising God that you have the opportunity to do it. Because remember, the hardest things in your life are the ones that are going to give you the greatest insights, the greatest insights. So go for it, and and uh, see you on the other side. Let me know how much you love the book. Let me know how much you love this video. Share it if you think that your friends might uh, benefit from it. Um, I'm sure they would. <laughs> you take care and God bless.